Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, and uh, I want to say hello to the new subscribers. Thanks for subscribing, and to all outboard fans. Um, I just posted a video of me kind of refurbing a, a little 1963 18 horse, and I had a, a couple requests about the P2 uh, for the P hole I put in it. Um, people asking me how that was done and all. And on this engine, it's real simple, so I'm going to show you step by step how I do that. Um, only take a minute. All right, so here's the part or the setup in question. As you can see, here's the hose. All right, so if you take this cover off, let me get one more part. Okay, when you take the, you'll take these three screws. It might be bolt heads. These ones happen to be screws. And when you take it off, your thermostat's going to be right there. Okay. And as you can see, there's a bypass hole right here. Here's your three screw holes, and there's the bypass. So when the thermostat's closed, it allows water to go through that little channel and back down and out. All right. So that's where you're wanting to drill your hole and all. And I'm going to show you that. All right. So here's my cover. There's where I tapped it and drilled it and all, and there it is. Now I make my own gaskets. I'm going to show you why. I use this nice thick gasket material. You see how fat and thick that is? So I just trace out. I use the old gasket and trace out a new one and put on there. It's real nice and thick. So I like this stuff. You can get it at the auto parts store. Real nice and thick, and it's what I've always used on these 1820s just because it seals them up so nice. And it lifts it up and gives it just a little more space for that, that fitting I'm going to put in here. So that's why I use that. So that's how, how it's done. That's where you do it at. Here's a cover that, that goes on there. And you can see this one's not tapped. I did punch a little hole with a punch right there so that's where I'm gonna drill and so now I'll show you exactly how I drill it and set it up the other thing you're gonna have to do is put a place for your discharge you can see I put a little rubber grommet here and I just stuck a little brass nipple on there that pushes through there um, actually I push the hose through and stick it up there is a part, num a part that you can get it's these little things you can buy them from boats.net, iBoats, different places. The part number for that, hopefully I got it in there, is 3218850. And that's that little discharge plastic thing that'll stick up in there. Um, you've got to drill this hole out. I drilled this one. I believe it's it's one size smaller than three quarters. So and you can use a spade bit to drill through this aluminum. It's so soft that you can just use a, a little spade bit. I'll, I'll show you one. What I use. Um, I don't know if it's going to be the exact one. But anyway, these type of bits will actually go right through that, that aluminum. So find your one that's about the same diameter is that part right there if, if you want to go stock and then that'll snap up in there and give you a place to hook your hose all right so that's the, the holes you're going to need to drill and you can pretty much drill those holes anywhere uh, as far as the discharge goes anywhere you like so i'm going to get set up here where you can see it all right so the things you're going to need all right, you've got your cover, and like I said, I pre-beamed it there with a, a center punch. Then you want to take a couple of, start out with a drill bit about this size. It's real soft aluminum, so it, it drills. Be as straight as you can.
There you go. All right, there's one. Now, your next bit. I have lost it. <laughs> I found it. Okay. This is the critical bit. Get you one of these deals here. And this one is 23 64 And that's the size that you're going to tap. 23 64 All right. Put that in there. Get your cover back. You already started your hole, and now let's go up to this side. Ooh. All right, so now we got the 2364s in there. All right, so we got our hole now. So there's your hole, then you're going to have this. This is the tap that you'll use. It's a 1 8 NTP 27 National Pipe Thread. And you can see it's tapered right there. So, And that's what you want because the fitting you're going to use is also tapered. You do not have to have this tool. I have it, so I'm going to use it. Um, you don't have to have a tap wrench. You could use a, uh, a little crescent wrench would be just fine. I have used a crescent wrench many times. So tighten this in there. Then you take it and gently start it and thread that now. You're supposed to go in and out and in and out and all that. But this is soft aluminum. Just take your time. And uh, back it out occasionally, you know, that kind of thing. Okay. And make sure, you know, you, you get this straight. It's important. All right. And you don't need to go all the way through with the tap. So you're just going to tap it about like that. Because this is, like I said, it's tapered. And that's what you want. So let's back that out of there now. And like I said, you don't need this tap wrench. You can use a little crescent wrench. Because this is nothing but soft aluminum. And I don't know if you can see it there, but now i got real pretty threads in there. Now, you can put a little pipe dope on here, a little paste if you want. Maybe a little piece of Teflon tape if you want. Now this then will screw down in there. And if, if you have trouble, like I see, I've got this little piece right here. You might have to take it over to your grinder or get your little grinding wheel or Dremel tool or whatever and uh, get it in there. Gr uh, grind that down a little bit so it'll fit. All right. Now let me go this way so I can get it. Get my threads cleaned up. Let me get a little crescent wrench. Something that I can use. All I'm going to do is chase it down in there and it'll come out the other side. So what's going on now is that little piece, it's a little foundry boss. I'm going to go over to my bench grinder and just grind that down a little bit. Moving that little burr of a thing there, it's in my way. 
I'll show you before I see if that'll work. I'm going to take this back out so you can see everything and all. Hopefully I'm getting some of this in the camera. All righty. And remember this, this fitting is tapered. So if it starts getting really tight here, you might need to take this out and run your tap back through there a little further. All right. You want to get at least four or five good threads in there. Let's run our, our tap wrench back down just a little further. Can you see what I'm doing here? Okay. Because this, this tap is tapered as well. So I'm going to run it down. There she goes, starting to tighten up. I'm going to run it down a little further than I did last time. So it's cutting some more aluminum. I can see that. All right, so I've run it in there further this time. Now let's take it out. A little show my shavings off. All right. You can see the pretty. Now you can see you don't have a lot of meat left on there, but you can see how I filed this down right here. You can see it slope. Got that little boss thing out of my way. Then I tapped it. Now this fitting is what fits it. Remember, that's a, what did I say, 2364? Yeah, that's a 2364 bit with a 18 NTP27 tap tapered national pipe thread tap, which will be tapered. All this stuff you can get right at the hardware store. Now this nipple has a, has a big outlet. Um, I normally don't use them that big, it's just what I had. The one I used actually on this engine is much smaller. They come in different size nipples, you know, outlets, so pick the one you want. Something about an eighth inch or so. Alright, and then like I said, put you a little dope or whatever, Teflon tape if you wish. Then that'll screw right in, and you want to just uh, get it in there snug. Don't over tighten it. You see it, she's coming down further now without me having to tighten it too much. Take your wrench, tighten that in there, and don't, don't over tighten it. Remember, it's just aluminum. All right. There it is. Now that will go right on top of there like so put the three screws back in run your hose from here to whatever discharge fitting you decide some people just drill a hole big enough for the hose and stick the actual hose and put a uh, little hose clamp on the side or a plastic zip tie on it um, again use the good fat uh, gasket material use your old gasket that comes off here um, as a template and make you a nice fat one out of this material available at your regular auto parts store and uh, that's really all there is to it and then from there the water that bypasses will come out and out here and you'll be all set so hopefully that answers the question on how I do that it's pretty straightforward pretty simple um, and by the way just so you know these 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 tap sets and all 
um, they they come in little. They've got it really nice now to where you just go and and buy the the actual tap that you need, and in the same little package, the the proper drill bit will be in the package with it. So you'll get so if, if you buy the NTP the one eighth NTP twenty seven tap. You can get it in a little package, a little kit that already has the, the proper drill bit to uh, use this tap. So that's you can just buy that. Like I said, you don't need this tool. Just use a little bitty crescent wrench about like that and put on your tap. Because like I said, it's aluminum. It's very soft. So just do that and gently do it. Keep it as straight as you, as you can. The straighter the better. And so those are really what you need to buy if you don't have them. Um, and then also good idea is to uh, do it first on a on a piece of scrap aluminum um, I always typically do that so and I did that here as well get just a, a chunk of aluminum like this don't need to be that thick even but something along that lines and then set it up somewhere on here I there it is. And then do it on a, a piece of test aluminum first. And make sure all is well. And that it's gonna, gonna fit for you. So do it on a piece of test aluminum first. And uh, that's how I do it. And it seems to work pretty good. There is another method you can use to do it off of the um, exhaust bypass. On this particular motor, um, this is the method I, I like to use. It's simple. Um, on on some motors, they don't have the thermostat set up like this, like the 18 does. So you have to do it with the other method. But long story short, you can take any of these older vintage outboards and add a P2 to it. They all have exhaust ports, they all have exhaust bypass plates and stuff. You can do it to any of them. It doesn't matter how old or uh, what model. They all can be tapped at some place. Some people tap the heads, some people tap the bypass. There's many ways to do it. On this particular engine, the 18th, 1820, the 1820 Johnson up through I think 64, 65, this is how I do it. Quick, simple, down and dirty, easy. But long story short, to answer Todd's question, yes, you can you can do this to any of these old vintage motors. All of them can have a P2 added to them. So hope this helps you. If I didn't make anything clear enough, just fire me in a, a reply there, and, and I'll get back with you. Thanks for watching.